What's up, guys? JDHAD's Custom Buggies. So, I want to take a minute. Who am I kidding? I like to ramble on, right? I uh, want to take a few minutes and talk about something I get asked a lot about, and that is gearing. Okay? So, on the old school GY6 motors, um, this is, and there is one exception. I'll tell you what it is. Um, but most of the motors that would either didn't have reverse, they require a reverse box, or the exception would be the Howitt motors that came in the Crossfire 150R and Baja Reaction. Um, that had internal reverse, but you can also change these gear sets, okay? Um, the newer motors that come in the Trailmaster, Carbide, um, Hammerhead GTS that have forward neutral reverse, they do not have a transmission where you can change these gear sets out. These gear sets don't exist in those motors. It's a complete, completely different system, okay? So, how do I figure out what my gear ratio is based on my gear set and how do I get there okay how do you get there take off your clutch and behind your clutch there's an access panel to your gearbox to your to your transmission okay in that transmission is two shafts one that your clutch is on the other one's your output shaft there's a series of like uh, one two three four five six um, six bearings I believe and uh, these two gear sets which basically connect your clutch shaft to your output shaft okay and this cog here and this cog here is what how you come up with your gear ratio okay now I already know the answer to this so um, what you're looking for is this all right now this is my favorite gear set it's a 1340 this is not a scooter gear set. So if you look on eBay, Amazon, whatever, you're not going to find too many of these gear sets, okay? Because most of the gear sets are made for the scooter market. This gear set here, 1340, and when I count this little cog, or the little guy here has 13 teeth, that's got 40 teeth. When I divide 13 into 40, I come up with the 307. The higher the number that you come up with for this formula, the lower the gearing, the better the takeoff, um, less top speed, but the better the takeoff. It's a more torque gear, gear set. It's a lower geared gear set. The higher the number, okay, um, if you, when you add the little cog on this guy and this guy, count them out, divide this one into this one, if you come up with like a, something in the low twos, that will not be any good for your buggy. That's for a scooter gear to get to the, you know, highway speed. Um, will not work for the buggy. I've actually, uh, on Facebook and groups, you know, hey, I bought this gear set, my buggy won't even move. Yes, it, that gear set was meant for a 200, 250 pound scooter to get up to 55, 60 mile an hour. It was not made to get a 500 pound buggy with two big fat ATV tires and a live axle, um, you know, up to 30. In fact, like I said, I've seen gear sets that they won't even move the buggy. Um, you know, the higher the number, the lower the gear. Now, I forget what the combination is, but there is there is one that is common. They used to come in Carter Talons and the older Hammerhead Twisters. It's kind of high, and uh, my favorite thing to do as far as a hop up is to take these 1340s and throw them in there. I forget what the two combination the two numbers are that gets the combination, but it's like a 276 gear ratio. So you're going from a 276 to a 307. Um, that's quite a bit of a difference. All right. Um, so. It's hard. I mean, the whole thing is to do, you know, do the shopping, do the math, do the research, and, and try and find something that works for you. Now, when you're running said gear set, whether no matter what it is, you have to take two other things into consideration with your with your gearing. Okay, one is sprockets. Um, how sprockets work is this: the larger the sprocket on your axle, the lower the gear. The smaller the sprocket on your motor, the lower the gear. So it gives you pretty much the higher number gear ratio, which means what? Lower gear, okay? Better torque, better takeoff. So um, the common sizes for sprockets are uh, on a motor with no reverse, you have 13. If you have a, a reverse gearbox, and I'm talking about the older motors right now, um, you have a 16.2 sprocket if you have an external reverse box, okay? On the axles, your common sizes are, I've seen, 31, 32, and 31 and 32 are basically old OEM, what the buggy used to come with, blah, blah, blah. 
39 used to be an upgrade axle or a sprocket, but now you're commonly finding them. I mean, they've been on Trailmasters. Um, I'm not sure if they came on carbides or not. I can't remember. And I know they didn't come on hammerheads. I think some models they did, some models they didn't. But um, 39 is the Trailmaster axle. But that was all years ago. That was all considered an upgrade deal. You know, you want to go, you want to climb a mountain, get that 39 tooth sprocket. Um, so uh, the other one is a, I want to say it's, 42 tooth there is a 40 45 there's a four i'm sorry i think it's 45 and i've sat and, I, and I, the hard part is i got so many parts in stock but i sell that sprocket the 40 and i want to say it's 45 i don't know why i won't hang it on a 42 45 tooth um so you know you kind of want to if you're running these you might want to do something different with your sprockets one way or the other, depending on how your buggy is performing, how what's your top speed, how is it climbing, how's the takeoff, all right? So unlike clutching, which clutching is just basically shifting, if you have 10 horsepower of power, all right, I'm just using for example, what clutching does is actually shifts it to where it's more useful, okay? What this does is actually just changes the, the gear ratio, okay? If 10 horsepower w with, you know, one sprocket combination won't do something and you change it for a lower gear ratio, it might climb better based on that. Not based on the clutching, just based on the gear ratio that with the power and the clutching that it has, it can it can motor up there, you know. Um, so it, it has nothing to do with manipulating like the clutching does. This is basically gear set thrown in, make change. Sprockets, put them in, make change. Clutching has more to do with manipulating where the shift points are and where you want the power to come in on your, you know, it's basically you're manipulating your power band, uh, I guess, in a way. I don't know if that's correct terminology. It's kind of the way I look at it. All right, so with sprockets, again, you can calculate your gear ratio on your sprockets the same way. You take your little sprocket, divide it in your big sprocket, you got some sort of ratio there. Um, so, it, and again, there's no right or wrong answer. A lot of this is preference, okay? Um, the third way, to affect gear ratio is basically tire size, okay? Some buggies come stock with 22 tires. Some buggies used to come stock with 20 inch tires. A smaller tire, all right, is going to basically act like a, a larger sprocket on your axle. It's good because it's rotating um, in what, it's making a shorter distance in one rotation, okay? So it's like running a, a shorter gear or, or gearing it down. When you have a taller tire, like a 22 inch tire, okay? It, it, it takes longer if you make a spot on the on the uh, tire and one rotation it takes further you know it takes it'll take up a longer distance before it makes one rotation now advantage it's going to give you better top speed okay but it's going to take away from the top end and it's just like anything else with the buggies we have so much to play with and a lot of it is just moving it around to where we prefer it to be okay so we're not gaining any power by going with a smaller tire or bigger tire. With smaller sprockets, bigger sprockets, changing gear sets. The power is the same. We're just changing where we want our power to be, okay? If I want my power to take me for a higher top speed, then smaller sprockets and larger tires would be the way to go in a, in a taller gear set, all right, which would be a smaller number in gear set. If climbing a wall is what you want to do or good takeoff or whatnot, then you want a high number gear set as far as, uh, the ratio, you know, the formula that I told you guys about, um, same thing. So you want larger sprocket in the back, you want a shorter sprocket in the front, or a smaller sprocket in the front, and, um, you know, shorter, t you know, tall tires that aren't so tall. So all these ways are ways to calculate or what you, you know, how you want your buggy to perform. So hopefully that's not too confusing. If you need to, just come back and watch this five times to you get it. Um, but it, it's... It's all, um, it's all preference. There's no right or wrong answer. I mean, if you're happy with the outcome, the answer is correct, okay? So, um, you know, I can't tell you based on, it, it's kind of like jetting. I can't tell somebody over the phone what jet to run. I can make suggestions, um, but there's too many factors that factor in, okay? There's a lot of factors that factor in with this too. Um, but the main one is preference, the driver's preference and what they like. So you like what you're seeing hit the like button if you want to come back or you want to know what's going on and i'd love to have you as a subscriber hit subscribe and remember it don't cost nothing it's free even if you hate me just hit it but anyway um 
time to close up shop and go home. And that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Happy to have you. JDL.